Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Please welcome our director, Mr. Peyton Reed. Hello, Hall H. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Ash. How are you? I brought a few cast members with me today who I'd like to uh, introduce you to. Uh, our Cassie Lang, Catherine Newton. Hi, everyone. I'm Catherine, and I play Cassie. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine Newton. Thank you so much. Wow. I would also now like to introduce you to Hope Van Dyne, Evangeline Lilly. Mr. Scott Lang himself, Paul Rudd! All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you Kang the Conqueror, Mr. Jonathan Majors. Ooh. We have a movie coming out in May called Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. James Gunn. Hello! What's up, Kevin? Hey, Ash. Hi, everybody. How are you doing, my friends? Well, how about we have a few of the Guardians of the Galaxy come out and join us right now? What about we have Chris Pratt is Star-Lord, Peter Quill. Oh my God. And we have Karen Gillan is Nebula. Woo. Palm Clementi F is Mantis. Sean Gunn is Kraglin. And a little somebody named Will Poulter is Adam Warlock. And finally, Maria Bakalova as Cosmo the Space Dog. That's everybody, right? Did I forget anybody? Did I leave anybody backstage? Oh, wait a second. There's somebody else here. What? Holy. Wait, what? The High Evolutionary! The High Evolutionary is here! Oh. Wow, he looks angry! Wow, what an honor. I know you're one of the most powerful beings in the universe. High evolutionary, it's, it's great that you're... Call me Saya. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pleased to be here. As I gaze out at this crowd, I am reminded of my sole purpose in the universe. To take unevolved, disgusting, low-life scum such as yourselves <laughs> and enhance you genetically to something less reprehensible. Thank you 
for inspiring me with how vomitous you all are. The, the, the bile in the back of my throat as I look at you is all the motivation I need to move forward and create the perfect species. Okay, uh, thanks, High Evolution. I can't wait to dissect all of you and see what I can learn. The High Evolutionary! Wow, mean, really mean. That's Chuck Woody Awuji, who you may know from Peacemaker, actually. <laughs> which brings us to our next series for Disney+, Plus, which is Secret Invasion. Please welcome Maria Hill herself, Kobe Smulders. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Hi. Wow, Hall H. Hey, everybody. Ash, how are you? Hello. Hall H. <laughs> wow. Wow. Please join us in welcoming the creators and cast of She-Hulk, writer Jessica Gao, director Anuvalia, director Kat Koiro, Jamila Jamil, Ginger Gonzaga, and Tatiana Maslany. Oh. You make these shows, you you hope you're servicing people, you hope you're servicing the fans, and then to actually get to show our work to a group of people who are so excited, like, you can feel it. You can feel that energy and it's so much love and I just really hope they like the show because making it was so much fun and then to just feel that energy, I'm like, I can't wait till you see it. It's Tatiana who plays She-Hulk, Jennifer Walters, and we have Ginger Gonzaga who plays Nikki and Jamila Jamil who plays Titania and Kat Coyro who directed the first three and the last three episodes. And Jessica Gower, beautiful creator and head writer. The fans are amazing. The fans are, you can't go on long enough. I mean, they're really the reason that we get to do this. And um, we're just grateful to them. They're, they're so excited. Like you look around, you see people doing cosplay. They're having so much fun. It's wild. It's the experience. I kind of envy the experience that they get to have here because it's like, we come here as like part of this, being part of the spectacle, but it's like, I don't think I'll ever be able to objectively go to a Comic-Con. I'd love to though. It seems like it's so much fun. Maybe I'll just go dress up as Star-Lord and they'll be like, oh, that's a good cosplay, you look just like him. <laughs> so I have to say I was nervous until I got out there, then I felt like a rock star. I'm not gonna lie, there was something about all those camera phones going up, flashes going up, people gulping, little kids there. I like looking people in the eye whenever I perform. So it was a beautiful thing and I lost all my nerves and I could have been out there all day. <laughs> I think they're going to see another layer, yet another layer of James Gunn's uh, vision pill. Uh, we all know he can be funny, we all know he can be subversive, we all know he has a lot of heart, so we're going to see a lot of even more heart, even funnier jokes, even more subversion. And uh, let's face it, it's, the, it's a trilogy, it's the end of an era, and not many people can handle that and still be true to the story and true to the fans, and I think he's done that. I mean, yes, I might be a bit biased because I'm in it, but he's really done that in bringing that bittersweet thing. Farewell is such sweet sorrow. And I think that's what this movie is going to feel like. It's, it's so exciting. Comic-Con is like such a magical place. And every time I'm here, it's just like, I just remember what a beautiful thing it is to see all these people come together and share their creativity and their, their imagination and just celebrate with each other the things that they love. So I'm always happy to be here. Standing backstage, just kind of watching the start of Kevin's presentation and I'm like, Marvel's so cool. Like, it's so cool. And, I'm, and I just get to get the best view in the house. I just feel so lucky. Being here with Secret Invasion has been really great because, and unfortunately, you know, I was the only one who was able to make it. Um, but it's an amazing cast, um, an incredible story, really, um, really dark, really very much a, a, a thriller. Um, you really don't, I feel like the, the audience will be constantly trying to figure out who's really who and are they are they a human are they a scroll or is there a manipulation happening there so i think that it, it'll be a really fascinating watch none of us had seen this new trailer so it was really fun tatiana we're just 
sitting on the ground, kind of like kids, like watching it along with everyone else, kind of screaming and geeking out over like our, our material, which sounds narcissistic. But it was new to us and it was very exciting. <laughs> what I love about all the Marvel um, comics is how it's always uh, it's always saying something and, and showing something that people can relate to. So I want people to be able to relate to She-Hulk and someone who who's kind of forced to come into their power and live in a body that's different or and take up a lot of space as a woman and have a lot of power and own being special. So I really like that part of it because I think everyone can relate to that and I hope that they do and gain that type of confidence the same way Jennifer Walters eventually has to. love Comic-Con and I've always wondered what it's like in Hall H. I've never been able to even get in there before because you have to camp for days and so to be able to meet everyone see everyone feel the energy in the room of even when they're not screaming you can feel their support and enthusiasm they're the best fans in the world and I'm so over the moon to be a part of this universe now we showed a brand new trailer never seen before and it shows so much more of the show and the tone of the show and it kind of answers more questions as to where we're going and shows how irreverent and fresh this is. There's nothing like it quite, quite, there's nothing quite like it in the Marvel Universe. We had Kevin Feige standing on the stage with us, which is so ridiculous, and, and I nerd out so hard for him because of what he's done for Cinematic Universe and opportunities he's given for people who look like me and for different marginalized groups. I think it's very cool, but also uh, the beautiful and excellent Tatiana Maslany and Ginger Gonzaga. Like, I just, I couldn't be luckier to stand next to those people and to work with them for six Months. The fans here at San Diego Comic Con are just some of the best fans in the world. They're people from all over the world who travel here because they love these movies, they love comics, and to be able to share this with them before anyone else is a special moment for me. I started coming to Comic Con back in like 1998, so being able to be here all that time is fantastic. I can't tell you how cathartic it is to finally just see it out and for people to actually receive it. It's really great. It's so nice to really see this physical reminder of what you're who you're making this for and how excited and happy they are. And it makes the hard work make sense, you know? I mean, the vibration in the room uh, was uh, quite emboldening and, and really makes you just want to make more films and tell more stories for them. You know, coming out with the uh, Ant-Man family and, and joining the MCU uh, cinematically uh, was uh, that's, that's a great, great homecoming. Incredible. Ooh. That was the reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt like the earth was shaking. So, yeah, which is appropriate. It was very, very special to get to share the, the teaser trailer with them, with everyone, because it's the first time that we saw anything since we wrapped the movie. Yeah. And it was actually very emotional, very beautiful. I just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all basically cried when we watched the trailer backstage and then they were like, you're on stage! And we were all like, we're crying right now. Um, but no, that was really special. And of course, the best part of all of this is like, getting to share it with the fans. Like, that's the best part of all of this. So it was really cool. We're back and we're stronger than ever. And it's, uh, I don't know, we're just like the Guardians of the Galaxy family, you know? We just like stick together forever. <laughs> Yeah, it was amazing to come back. You know, we do genuinely feel like a really weird, dysfunctional family. And to come back and play these characters, we all care so deeply. We're so emotionally invested in our characters, like more than normal. <laughs> What's going on? And so like to come back, we're just like, oh, like it's just, it just feels like it's deeper than your average film. I don't know why. <laughs> we're gonna cry again. Yeah, <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Being in Hall H was overwhelming and I was so nervous and then as soon as I stepped out onto the stage and started talking about the project that I feel so genuinely passionate about, it became fun. And hearing the crowd reaction was just such a thrill and watching the trailer, which, you know, I've seen every moment of that trailer for years and it was still exciting, like I was seeing it for the first time with the fans. There was She-Hulk herself, Miss Tatiana Maslany. We had Ginger Gonzaga, who plays her best friend, Nikki Ramos. We we had Jamila Jamil, who plays Titania, and then my fellow director, Anu Valia, and the writer, Jessica Gao. It really feels, especially with Marvel, like you make it for the fans. So to see them gathered in one place after three years of not being able to come and celebrate was really, really exciting. Comic-Con for me is, is an amazing tradition that is always nerve-wracking and uh, stress-inducing. And in this case, also extremely emotional. It's been three years since we have been here. And 
obviously the, the, the last two years have been tough for all of us and there were dark days where we thought maybe we'd never be able to come back here. Could we ever have 7,000 people in one room ever again? Um, and that we did that today uh, was very, very emotional and what we were revealing was very emotional and all of it led up to the most emotional which was Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is very, very special and having our director Ryan Coogler come out on stage and, and say some very beautiful words about Chadwick Boseman and the rest of the cast coming out and the cast along with the 7,000 people in Hall H seeing the trailer together for the first time. Um, very, very emotional. We're very lucky to have amazing fans all over the world at Marvel, but there's something about San Diego Comic-Con, there's something about Hall H, and the people there have such love and such passion and are so open to things they love and open to meeting new things that they want to love, that we want to earn their love with that. And it, waiting online for days and being out in the sun and it couldn't be more uncomfortable. And, and, and when they're there, you want to put on a show. We feel a great responsibility that, that it better be worth it. I've been a fan of Marvel since probably I was 13, 14. And being able to join a family like Guardians of the Galaxy with incredible director like James Gunn has been just beyond exciting. Playing a character that has such a big heart because we all know that dogs are like this creatures that loves you unconditionally um, and it's been, I don't know, like a dream. Always a fun thing to be able to come back and play Scott Lang again and work with within Marvel which is such an incredible Thing, like just to, you know, I never get used to it, and um, meet some new people this time around, see some old friends, and uh, and you know, just every time it's um, like the, I, I never really get used to it. I just still kind of sit back and uh, marvel. Oh, right, uh, just the name of the exactly okay. how uh, how fun these films are how exciting it is to shoot them, and uh, what an honor it is to be a part of it. Uh, when we were doing the original Ant-Man, it came out in 2015, if you had told us we were going to be able to do an Ant-Man trilogy, uh, I don't know if we would have believed you, but here we are, and we've done an Ant-Man trilogy, which for me is a personal thrill, because when we made the first one, we had ideas of where we thought the series might go, and we've actually been able to do it, and we've been able to do it at Marvel and have all the resources at our disposal to sort of go nuts. It's overwhelming, you know, to see, to look out there and see so many people dressed up and to hear the applause and, you know, you can't help but sense the enthusiasm in Hall H when they're showing clips. As I said on stage, I started coming to Comic-Con in 1994, so I'm a, I'm a seasoned veteran. Uh, and it's just grown and grown and grown. And to be in Hall H, because I've been in Hall H years ago as a fan, and to be up on stage, is, it was thrilling. It's wonderful being here in Hall H. First of all, we, you know, we haven't been here in years, and being in front of an audience, in front of people who are so warm and so welcoming is absolutely magnificent, and sharing with them something that we put our heart and soul into, there's no better feeling in the world. The Hall H is the thing that everybody talks about when they come to Comic-Con or they hear about Comic-Con, they're like, have you been to Hall H? Um, and I, and I can't believe that we got to show them a trailer that we hadn't seen yet just sit and watch it with them um, it's just such a joy you know Marvel fans are are voracious and they know everything about every movie and every you know side character so it's pretty cool I think that they'll find it's very relatable it's very human and it's also super funny in a way that uh, I don't know that you know we've seen we've definitely seen comedic uh, explorations of movies in the Marvel Universe, but this one is like a legal comedy half-hour sitcom, so it's it's a totally different thing. And I was nervous to step into it, but when I read the, the pilot script that Jessica Gao wrote, um, it was just so funny and so weird and really unexpected, and I was like, if this weren't a Marvel thing, I would still want to audition for this. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think to get... Uh the, the fans' reaction to this uh, third installment was uh, a huge moment for us. You know, really, really, really fun, particularly for the folks who'd, you know, been on this journey for sort of almost 10 years now. And uh, yeah, I feel very grateful to be joining along for the finale. First of all, I was, a, I was a fan of Guardian, so to have kind of any role, you know, in that context is, is really exciting. And Adam offered me a really fun opportunity to kind of play both, you know, comedic and dramatic beats, as, as is, you know, the case with so many of the characters in Guardians, and also kind of explore this, this, this young person in his infancy, trying to kind of orientate himself in this crazy world and work out a difference between right and wrong. And that was a really fun kind of moral journey of self-development. It was fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it.
Click and watch our suggested video playlist right now for more entertaining videos. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.